fact, it's been a long time coming, Laura, but Dundee United can claim their first piece of silverware in 14 years with a victory at Hamden on Sunday. United meet Rangers in the CIS Cup final, determined to make history. It'll take more than an apple a day to keep Rangers at bay, but the Dundee United players left Tannadice today determined to return on Sunday with the CIS Cup. No chipping on the greens at the team hotel today, but it'll be a different story for striker Noel Hunt at Hamden as United bid to fulfil a driving ambition. It's a cup final and we're here to win it, you know, and that made no mistakes about that. That's our, that's our goal is to win the cup final. Um, and we know that what we have to do, like it's going to be hard, you know, but we're willing to put it in like, and, and give it a good shot. It was Rangers that United overcame to lift the Scottish Cup in 1994. And the man who scored the winning goal that day has some advice for his former club. Enjoy the occasion. It's great to be involved in a final. And you never know, we've got a great chance. We've had a great season and it's up to them to continue it. Christian Daly was part of that cup winning side. On Sunday, he's set to line up against United. Just to be involved in something like that uh, against the team I used to obviously have got great links with. Um, grew up as a boy supporting them and, uh, and stuff like that. So it's a, obviously it'd be a, a great day for not just for me but for the family as well, but desperate to win it. United will be hoping Rangers UEFA Cup adventures, which has seen them book a quarter final tie with Sporting Lisbon, will have worn them out. But the parallels between both the clubs um, over the last year or so would mean it'll be a uh, a tight and uh, closely fought thing in the final, I would imagine. And uh, obviously with Dundee United being my old club, while I don't wish them any ill, I would quite like to win a League Cup. <laughs> United go into the game on the back of a goalless draw away to Celtic. An omen, perhaps, that this could be United's year. The last time they recorded that result at Parkhead was in their Scottish Cup winning year of 94. Well, I'm delighted to say I'm joined live now by Dundee United manager Craig Levine, who's at the United's team hotel in Edinburgh. Craig, thanks for joining us. How big a game is this for Dundee United? Well, it's the, certainly the biggest game uh, in the club's recent history. Um, we all realise just how important this, uh, this cup final is to our supporters, and uh, we're absolutely desperate to, to bring the trophy back to Tannadice. What would it mean to you and Dundee United to get that trophy back to Tannadice? Well, at this minute in time, it means everything to us. Uh, it's not very often um, that you manage to get to, to cup finals. Um, we've played very well in, in every round up until uh, up to the final. And it would be a real shame for us not to go out now and, uh, and get our hands on the trophy. And how determined are the players to do it for the chairman, Eddie Thompson, as well? Yeah, of course, that's a big part of it. The chairman's uh, health has been well documented recently. Uh, and it's a great opportunity for, for his team, uh, the team that he has supported for a long time and also supported with his, uh, with his money as well. It's a real opportunity for his team to, to lift the trophy. And uh, there'll be nobody prouder than him if we manage to do that on Sunday, I'm sure. OK, Craig Levine, thank you very much indeed for joining us and all the best on Sunday. Thank you. Well, cup final fever spreading across Dundee. In the city, the match has been dubbed the Eddie Thompson final in tribute to the seriously ill chairman. David Marsland's been out meeting the fans. All together, now. one, two, three, four, three. They're loud enough when there's just 50 of them, but 17,000 Dundee United fans are expected at Hamden on Sunday, and they'll be in louder voice than usual because they're not just singing for their team. This year, for these people, this cup final is for one man. We're wearing the T-shirts uh, for our chairman, Eddie Thompson. As you all know, he's, he's not keeping too well just now. And uh, it's a fans' tribute. All the fans, it started as the banter bus, 50 guys for the banter bus. We got T-shirts done, and then it's just took off from there. Thompson's achievement seems to have inspired many in the city. You're meant to make mincemeat of the opposition, but one Dundee butcher's showing his support by making mincemeat of United. The sauces are as one's black pudding, the black ones obviously, they're made with black pudding mix, and the other one is chicken and tangerine colouring. That's what the sausage are made of, so you've got your tangerine black sausages. 
In Dundee, they're calling Sunday's match Eddie Thompson's final. And win or lose, the fans are determined it will be the greatest tribute they can give to the chairman who got them there. David Marsland, STV News.